Hey guys, what's going on? Dale's here. What's up guys? Uh, we were talking yesterday and was talking about some of my preferences of video games and you know how like graphics isn't like everything and all this with modern video games and really honestly for me uh, one of the things my takeaway is like why I like retro games so much is it is nostalgia from when I was a kid but also I think retro video games don't demand as much of your time. So basically it's like it, it comes down to and I don't know if you agree on this but you can get quick in and out really fast with retro video games mm -hmm. and I think that's what like cell phone games do really well that a lot of people like where like a lot of modern stuff on consoles really demands a lot of your time yeah. they've, they've made it better like you can like go into like a sleep mode or stuff like that so when I grew up my exposure to the Sega Master System was it was that weird other console next to the NES and I didn't give a shit about it <laughs> but you grew up with a master system yeah so well I grew up with a master system for for somewhat of a short time um, thanks to my brother I love you still but you uh, killed my master system uh, he was we were both young I think he was so you just um, got so, thrown under the bus right well, away yeah I, I yeah. had it for a short period of time and, and the story <laughs> behind that basically is one day when I was about to turn it on he I told him to plug it in um, and I, I think it was either I was plugging in and he turned it on and it, it like blew the unit so it wouldn't turn back on after that. So I played a few games on that, um, like I said, for a short period of time. But after that, the, the followed that was the Sega Genesis. Yeah. So Which recently I just got into. I didn't grow up with a Sega Genesis. So, yeah. you know, and I, I kind of had one on and off through the years, you know, mm -hmm. but I never really got into it. This is like the first time I've like really fully, fully got onto it. And for you guys that don't know, I just, it's not a Sega Genesis. I picked up an analog SG, Mega SG. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like a, a clone version that runs off of PGA. It's a pretty badass Sega, actually. It's, it's really cool. Like you, 200 bucks, easy buy, you know, for like old Sega games. So um, we're going to boot up the Mega Drive version of it, which this thing actually has the ability to run FM sound as opposed to the original sound. Mm -hmm. So we just found out one of the games that he likes actually supports that. So it sounds a little bit better. It was kind of always my problem with the Master System is that original Texas Instruments chip. Yeah. Some of the tones on it was like, it's like, it's like very tiny. Yeah, and it's like, Steve Urkel, please stop. <laughs> you, you need to stop right now, you know? God damn, my ears. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to boot it up. We're going to record some stuff and see what kind of stuff he was playing when he was a kid. <laughs> I'm going to start with this game. Global <laughs> He's defense. so excited. <laughs> I'm going to start with this game. This game, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to start with this game, Global Defense, um, from 1987. So this was one of the few games. I remember Global Defense, Dick Tracy, Spellcaster, and um, the built-in games, because the Sega Master had two built-in games, uh, Hang On and their version of Duck Hunt. So I don't know if Hang On's on here. Um, I can Since check it after. was built-in, yeah. yeah. So I have no clue. I can check after, yeah. but let's try this one. It's a city. Boom! And it got bloated up. Wow. So is this supposed to be like a uh, missile Global command? Defense. Um, is it supposed to be a missile command? It's kind of like one of the early, I, I, I'd loosely say like bullet hell games. So let's press huh. start. And why is start not working? Uh, just hit A or B. Oh. There you go. Okay. Because there was no start button on the master system. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. No. So are you supposed to be a satellite? Um, it's... It looks like a, a, a protective satellite. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. You gotta hold down B. Wow, I totally forgot about this. <clears throat> So you gotta hold on B to maneuver. Oh, that's weird. By the way, apple juice and strawberries together. Oh, I died. It's perfect. Oh man, I gotta get used to this. Um, is this the case where a game's like not holding up? It's not that, it's just that it 
one, it's been so long. Oh, I completely died. I try this again. Okay. So offensive half. <clears throat> like this thing never really had. It obviously doesn't seem to have a story. Just protect Earth. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh shit. Seems like Earth is trying to protect itself from you. That was a thick missile. Yeah, it really was. It was a really thick missile. <laughs> like, double C thick. <laughs> At least I didn't get penetrated by the missile. <laughs> it's interesting, so once you die, come back, the game seems to... It pauses for like a moment, and then it, and then it starts back up, but... Oh, move. Oh, here's thick. That's the big boy right there. Why does it look like a, a, a space lobster? Whatever the hell this crap is. I don't know, but it keeps beeping like you're sending signals out or something. I don't know what those little weird flippy patterns are either. These, those don't make any sense. <laughs> Never seen Star Trek? Yeah. Mm, make any sense either. Who's that power up? Yeah. I don't know if it's, this is a, uh, because it's on this controller and yeah. it's emulated. I don't remember having to hold the button down to... Oh, okay, so that's... Oh, uh, that's my ship. Okay. Alright, so off to the next level. Missile, satellite, fighter... Okay, defense half. Oh! Kind of like asteroids now. Oh. I'm doing a bad job protecting Earth. Well, give me the radio attack, the radioactivity from those missiles alone are um, pretty much everybody's doomed. Okay, so all of those people that that uh, got bombed, I'm so sorry. I'm trying. It's only me and. This machine is from 1987. It's pretty. Oh, Earth is dead. <laughs> so that's global offense. So it's global defense. Or global defense. Global defense. Yeah. So I still have the carts for these, by the way. I believe at my at my mom's house we still have those carts. So they have this. Uh, like I can remember this. Uh, the artwork that's on the cover uh, for this this game. The box had like the uh, the the um, grid pattern. Yeah. And the back, the, the background artwork. Well, they all had the grid pattern. They all had the grid pattern. Yeah, the, the Master Drive cover art was, like, terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Nostalgic, but terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> so, yeah, this was one of them. A dynamic case begins extra, extra. Is this pretty much like the NES one? Uh, don't remember. So, I didn't grow up with the NES. Yeah. Um, so, I don't remember. Um, to, I'm not going to be able to compare it easily. Unless I look at it, I think it's probably very similar to the NES one. Do I have bullet count? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's time. So, yeah, and then... Wait, how the hell... How was on the way? You gotta point up or something, right? Try pointing oh. up and firing. Oh, I just called for help. Oh. So this was supposed to be based on the movie, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. That movie was actually really cool. It really was. For any of you youngins yeah. out there, it was uh, starred Warren Beatty, uh, Madonna. Uh, I forgot some of the other cast members in there, but yeah, this uh, this was a... If, if you went awesome. three... I, I don't know how you feel, but if you went three quintessential yeah. movies that... Or kind of like about like that time, like the 40s, 30s, yeah, and that comic book kind of style. Check out Dick Tracy, uh, The Shadow, I would say is yeah. the other one, and The Rocketeer. Like, those are all like quintessential of that time, like in the 90s when they were bringing like all the 30s, like comic books kind of like back. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, so, so you, you can shoot it. You gotta, it's this, the, the way this thing is mapped. Mm hmm. So you have to hit B to shoot across the street. Oh. 
Oh, and then you, you used to. Oh, okay. Now I got it. Uh, you got You got to shoot across the street and then use the cur the uh, D pad to. to been aim. a while, huh? Yep. Yeah. I heard performance anxiety is a oh, common in men our age. You know. <laughs> it's only it's only with the console, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Keep drinking your juice, kids, because one day, your dick don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a pun because I'm playing Dick Tracy? <laughs> that dick's not working. Well, he's kind of old. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. So, Spellcaster, yeah, basically in the intro, you have the option to start a new game or... Uh, click password and password from what I remember when playing the game uh, And again, I only played a very small portion of the game since my system died um, You're still hurting about that. Yeah, I am God. <laughs> You know you get a Sega Master System today you, uh, you can buy one of these You've yeah, I think you've talked me into that. No, it's gonna eventually happen. But yeah, anyway, you're, you're welcome <laughs> So the password will once you play it through the game, you um, I think you come you come to discover passwords or something, and I think the text of the game or something like that, and you can jump to the portion of the game. I think it's supposed to yeah. Once you put it in, it's supposed to get you to that whatever level it was that you got the password. From. Okay, that's a long ass password. I don't know if it's you put the whole thing in. But, how do you get out? Okay, now getting out is a... Let's just restart it. Yep. That was a... <laughs> it was a little difficult, more difficult than it should have been. Okay, new game. So... Very anime. Kane is the is now Temple Summit. I don't see his sunglasses. <laughs> uh, that's an inside joke. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Inside joke. Post Kane's face now. <laughs> Dicac, I have answered your call. Dicac. Dicac sounds like something you do in your pants. Dicac. I dicacked. <laughs> sounds painful. <laughs> Welcome, brave warrior. Uh, Enrico Temple has been attacked and plundered. Holy crap! That washing machine. Oh yeah. If you guys are hearing that in the background, um, the uh, the apartment's about to take off. <laughs> so I bought a washing machine. It has Satan in it. Uh, so now here's the action part. Hadouken! Wow. Hadouken! So do you have any other moves besides Fireball? Wow. Um, uh, so far, yeah, that's all yes. Those are Ewoks. Why are you destroying Ewoks? What's wrong with you? Ooh, energy. Fucked up Shredder pretty good. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. See, like, he hasn't played any of these games in years, so, like, all this shit's coming back. <clears throat> I would say, like, playing games, like, some of the... the you know, the indie retro style games like Cuphead and stuff like that has allowed me to, you know, pick some of the stuff stuff up pretty well because it it, it brings back that style of gameplay. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Go upstairs. So when your master system was still working, did you guys ever rent games for it? No. No? Yeah. It's it's hard for me to remember exactly what the length of time was when I had it. I think we got it for Christmas or something one year. I was... I had to have been, what, 10? Were you always hardcore Sega? I mean, that's what my parents bought me, and that's how I got into it. Oh. Yeah. So, they... they... And it was weird, because as a kid, I didn't... It, it wasn't like I, I seen the console, and I was like, you know, what a Sega. It's just my... I think my dad bought it one day and, and, uh, for that, you know, that Christmas. And, um, you know, for, ever since then. But once this died, then time... Then I think the following Christmas or so, I ended up with a Sega Genesis. The first, the 16-bit one. 
the, the first uh, version and then that broke because that was my fault. Um, I used to I used to take it um, in a huge tray with cartridges. So my mom also bought like this tray that stored the cartridges in the console. And um, there were times when I would go out. I used to go to work with my dad, and my dad would say, "Bring the console with you," because he used to work as a as a uh, editor and a, a he was a cameraman uh, for Fox Fox Five. So we'd be, he'd have us in a room at times and we'd be, you know, playing, we'd basically hook it up and we'd be playing games, my brother and I, sometimes a friend would come along and we'd just sit there and play games. Yeah. In between that, from time to time, I, you know, the thing was big, I was not that big at the time, I was small, so my hands wouldn't be able to hold this huge tray. Sometimes it would tip over and the console would collapse and that banged up the console. So the first one broke because I dropped it a couple of times. The second one, it's, I still have it, and that one works. And all 30 games that I have for the Sega Genesis. This is one of the other games. This is Hang On. This is so, built in. I have a story about this. Oh, what's that? Okay. So, I used to go to the store when I was a kid called Best, mm-hmm. right? And they were weird. They were kind of like, if you guys know what Fry's was with like all the themed stuff, Best did that. There was literally like one store that we went into. It was like a regular brick store, mm-hmm. and it looked like part of the wall had been torn out and misplaced like the bricks were like there and stuff I think I have a picture of it somewhere and that was the entrance to the store oh that's pretty cool yeah so like one of our so we went into Best and they had like it was like a general you know like overall like department store so they had everything from like they had shelves like glassware appliances all that stuff then they had one little section off for toys Mm -hmm. and instead of like getting like normal like kiosks or something like everybody else did and keep in mind this is really early this is this is 86. The Nintendo had been out for like a year, but nobody heard it of it in Ohio because it rolled out in New York and California in 85. Yeah. So this is the first time I got experience with it. And there was these two systems, one called the Sega Master System, and it had this game on it. And the other one was the Nintendo Entertainment System with Super Mario Brothers. And it was like the most ghetto setup. It was like just on like one of the pegboard shelves <laughs> with like two 13-inch TVs right there, you know? Like somebody just like set it up like, you know, really quick. And... I played Super Mario and I played this and this is like if I have to be honest this is like the game I had to play when my brother was playing Super Mario Brothers oh so this is just like a passing game <laughs> this is the backup <laughs> <laughs> this is just like yeah this will keep me occupied but this is still fun this is still a really good game and there's a slow start you got shift oh I'm holding A oh it says low top. Everybody's passing it. You. You're only doing Why 45. I? I think you need to shift gears. Try pressing up or down. <laughs> getting getting familiar with it again. I didn't even realize it was a shifter on this thing. I don't think Super Hang On has that. Like on Genesis? We'll have to check it out in a bit, but I don't think it has that. Ah, uh, I don't remember this. This is weird. <laughs> It's like a different version of Hang On, maybe? No, it's just weird that I, I don't remember this part, though. I, re- I remember that, but I didn't remember having to shift gears. That was weird. Oh, no! Yeah, he blew up. Jesus. Jesus Christ. That was way over. And the other guy just gets wide free. Just like... Uh, yeah, he's, in, he's yeah. invincible. I'm made out of paper mache. Yeah. Well... Oh, you really gotta press down on the. Uh, oh, what? Wow. Bro! Oh, because I shifted the. I shifted. You're in med- medium speed. Oh, I ran out of time. Oh. Okay, my turn. Yeah, here you go. Alright, let's play the game. Sorry, I was, you know, being a narrator. Yeah. Is this the same Most music? These, yeah. A lot more story in this. Yeah. I think the art is a little bit better in this too than the NES in some ways. Ryu Hayabusa. Oh! Oh! Really? Yeah. So this cut... This is... 
It's freaking cool. How do you grab that? I don't know. I think you're supposed to slash it. There you go. Oh shit. Like the Sega Master System and the and in some cases, like the Game Gear, because mm -hmm. I don't know if you know this, but the Game Gear was actually a Master System. Yeah. Yeah. So the only difference was is like some of the color palettes and stuff like that. But the the Master System was a set, like a lot of Master System games just went over to Game Gear. Oh, that didn't come oh. here and stuff like that. So I think Ninja Guide might have been one of those, but I'm not sure. But this is um this might go for a pretty penny now. You know what I mean? I think it's too common, and I've noticed like the prices of like game or uh, Sega Master System games yeah. have been going up big time in the last couple of months. So, um, what the hell is that? If you're interested in a Master System, it's kind of hard because it's really hard to find the carts now. It just wasn't that popular of a system in the U.S. So the controls are, are very strange because I think like you got to press up and then B to do the shuriken. That's the way it is on the NES too. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So, you only have so many points for that though. You kind of pick them up. That's cool. You know what I think it is, is you've been playing so many years on emulation that you're used to that delay and not that immediacy. Because yeah. I was doing that same crap when I bought this thing. Ah. Like, right when the pixel's in front of you, that's when you hit it. Because that's the way that these older yeah. systems were. Yeah. Oh shit! That's cool. It's like you it's ate a Mexican. Shield. Yeah. Fiery ass jutsu. <laughs> oh, it's... I... actually not too bad. You can find this cart for around twenty-one bucks. Really? Yeah. And it came out in the U.S. A little more expensive if you want complete. It's gonna cost you about eighty-three, eighty-four bucks. Oh jeez! I just died in the bamboo spikes. So it looks like a lot of prices on a lot of the cards for the Master System are not too bad. No! Let's see, Sega Master System. What's some of the most expensive games on there right now? We'll go high to low. Wow, that's a lot. You want to take a wild guess what the most expensive game on the Master System is right now? Wild guess. Uh... It's not going to be what you think it is. I bet you that. What, $200? 500 <laughs> 500 for a loose card of it. Of this? No, 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 no. This is like 22 bucks. Wait, which? A loose card of what? You want to take a wild guess? Uh... Shoot. I don't know what. Sonic the Hedgehog. Are you kidding me? I'm not even kidding. And Golden Axe Warrior, which I don't know if you've ever played that. Probably not. Same uh, no. it is. So Golden Axe Warrior was a Golden Axe game that was trying to be like Zelda. It was almost like a straight rip off of Zelda. Like the original Zelda. And we played uh, Golden Axe 2 the other night. That yeah. Was fun. Yeah, but that's that's different. That's a beat em up. This oh, okay. is like they tried to like make take the Golden Axe license that's and try to make like a Zelda game. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that is 183 bucks for a loose card of that. That is ridiculous. And the Sega Master System consoles are going for like a hundred to ten, a hundred and twenty dollars. Jeez. Yeah. I am. This is really good. Yeah. This is really good. Oh. So so if you hit the, it uses his life. It's like one of those. Oh. Um, Uh. 
Dale's just gonna play the rest of the ninja guide for you. Show you how to do it. No, it's, he's gonna kill me. Eh, eh, yep, yeah, see? Land my butt right on the bamboo. So, well, that was fun. So, I've been looking for cartridges for this thing because I have the adapter, you know, and I'm mm -hmm. like. But it's all like stuff like that's like great football, great golf. It's like, I don't, I don't want to play that. I want to play like Sonic, but apparently it's like 500 bucks now, so screw me. <laughs> Unless you get lucky like you've done before and ended up with cartridges way less than that, but. Yeah, that's, that was a long time ago, though. That ain't happening yeah. no more. Like, ever since this, like, people, like, selling stuff for, like, $3 million, that's all over. <sighs> so, anyways, that's kind of been our look into the past of the Master System. Thanks for showing me, because yeah. I've never really messed with it that much. Well, I like, knew of things, but, you know. It's a good revisit for me, too. And it's, like I mentioned before, I missed out on a, on a good list of, of games. But I did have the Genesis, so there were some games I was able to, you know, get into and have fun with that until I went over to PlayStation and then from there on. So Yeah. And the greatest game I ever made is on the Genesis, and that's Red Blasters. No, oh, jeez. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so. Okay, Chuxton. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great time. <laughs> it's, it's time to end this video. It's getting weird. Anyways, Take it easy, guys. Later. Later.